Alert Weather with Laura Wibbenmeyer is sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System. A live look outside, plenty of sunshine, all of us getting that nice vitamin D today and we're uh, able to get it without the strong winds we had yesterday. Still the flags are blowing, but we're tracking winds more in the 5 to 10 mile per hour range, which it's going to make it a lot more comfortable as we head through the evening too. Temperatures way above average 60s and 70s for all of us. 65 as you head out for your evening plans in Carbondale, 72 still in Sykeston, 75 right now in the Boot Hill and temperatures tonight will still stay very mild too as we'll have mainly clear skies for the entire evening and for most of the overnight hours. Now there will be a few clouds as we wake up tomorrow and those clouds will build in pretty quickly through your Wednesday and with those those clouds will be tracking those breezy conditions too, especially the further south and east you are where we could see some gust up over 30 miles per hour. Eventually that will bring in more moisture too. So by the second half of the day, showers and thunderstorms are back in the forecast. Right now it looks like the further north you are, you have a better chance to stay dry. The further south you are, a better chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms through the late afternoon hours into those evening hours. Then we get a little dry time once again, late Wednesday night into Thursday. Thursday will be a bit breezy as well and more scatter showers and a couple rumbles of thunder possible by the late morning into the afternoon hours. Those will continue to lift off to the north and east, but the extremely heavy rainfall won't arrive until really late Thursday night into early Friday morning. This is one o'clock in the morning. Obviously, most of us asleep at this point, but uh, that's when the very, very windy conditions will begin, and that's when we'll be tracking a lot of rainfall across the heartland, too. And this will continue through the morning hours on Friday. And with each round of showers and thunderstorms over the next few days, we at least have a small threat. We could see an isolated severe storm, too. So Wednesday, officially, that level one threat clips our far southern counties. So we'll be watching for an isolated strong wind gust. And and then as we head into Thursday, this includes Thursday night too. Once again, that level one shifts just a little further to the north and the southern half of the heartland has a better chance to see some of those isolated strong to severe storms. Right now, it looks like the greatest threat of severe weather will stay to our south, but we're going to continue to watch this closely for you as we move into the next couple of days and even beyond into Friday too, where we're still tracking some of that rainfall. So hopefully you'll have a chance to enjoy the dry time tonight. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s for low, so another pretty mild start to the day tomorrow. And with those windier conditions tomorrow, temperatures will be even warmer than what we saw today. Highs tomorrow, look at this, we're tracking widespread lower to mid 70s.